You know, one of the hardest things for uh, Team USA is to develop the skill of, of ground baiting. And uh, really in our country, the only uh, time that we use it is for feeder fishing or carp fishing. And typically, they'll ball up these giant balls of ground bait and then throw them in at the bell. And I mean, they'll throw in 20 kilos, you know, and just make uh, smell trails, you know, in the water. And it's it's... It doesn't work in ice fishing because you don't have any moving water. And when we went to Poland in 2009, one of the things that we discovered afterwards is that those giant balls of ground bait was actually killing uh, the hole. There was too much scent. It was kind of like, uh, you know, walking into a perfume shop. You know, you're just overwhelmed by it and you just want to get away. So what we've learned over the years is that, uh, especially last year, um, or the year before, excuse me, in Kazakhstan, is they'll get uh, a lot of different uh, styles of ground bait. This particular is krill from our UQ, our Japanese friends. And uh, really all they were doing is just taking a pinch of it and then sprinkling it in the water. And what that does is that'll slowly sink down in the water. And I think it's more of an attractant uh, than anything else. There's virtually no feed at all in this because normally in ground bait you want to have a little bit of feed and a little bit of attractant. Uh, could be smell and it could be actually you know little glitters or flowers in the in the grains. Uh, this has, I'm not sure what it is, but you can see the little white dots in there. That'll actually glitter as it goes down and it gets the attention of the fish, especially the small fish. They may taste it or smell it, but uh, that's it. Matter of fact, the Russians in Kazakhstan were using, uh, we found out, like ground up pretzels that you would get at a football game or something. And so I don't, I don't really think it's important that it's krill or uh, ground up bloodworms. I think it's more uh, just getting their attention and seeing that material falling down.